Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. And I want to talk about National Association of Realtors mid-year meetings in Washington, D.C. last week, which I was there for the whole week. Now, one thing that happens is in the semi-annual meeting is we review some of the priorities that we have in terms of what we want Congress to do to help the homeowners out there in the United States. And believe me, we all need help at this point. Uh, there are three priorities I'm going to talk about in three videos, but what I want to do today is the number two priority that we had, which is an extension of the Mortgage Indebtedness Relief Act. Now, this was done after the meltdown in uh, the housing industry to encourage people to do short sales versus letting their homes go into foreclosure because it's an advantage to the market. Uh, the lender takes less of a loss. We have a house that's occupied. Uh, it's a really good deal because what happens, and I'll make this uh, an example of what happened from yesterday to let you know what I'm talking about. We had uh, one of our short sales that we did last year <clears throat> call us because he got a tax bill from the IRS. Now, he took about a 75, or the mortgage company, I should say, took a $75,000 loss that they wrote off. That's how much less than what the mortgage amount was when we went to closing. Now, the Mortgage Indebtedness Relief Act says that there is no taxable event. If you go into foreclosure, there is a taxable event. So let me give you an example. He would owe uh, and got a tax bill for roughly about $20,000 from the IRS uh, because of his tax bracket, interest, and penalties. This is phantom income. I know it's not fair to a lot of you, but that's the law. The law is, is that that $75,000 is considered income that you didn't pay taxes on. So had he gone into foreclosure, and by the way, the loss would have been even greater, then here's someone in financial distress that had to do a short sale that all of a sudden the IRS says, give us $20,000 or we're taking your bank account or we're coming to your house to see what your clothes look like. I mean, this is something that they can do. So if you're considering a short sale, uh, and you're going to be doing it next year if you're procrastinating, you may be in trouble because I had to explain to our senators and representatives what it was. They weren't even aware of what this is. You know, they have a lot of things that they do. They have a lot of priorities right now, and this is not one of them. But it is very, very important in places like Arizona and Florida. But even in Oklahoma City, we're doing a lot of short sales. So if you are a financially distressed homeowner in Oklahoma City and you're going, well, I'll keep going on this loan modification that doesn't work out, uh, you know, short sales are going to take anywhere from four to six months when we consider marketing time, you know, getting a contract, putting all the information into the mortgage companies, negotiating, closing. So, you know, this is May. <clears throat> We're getting close to June. And that means that if you don't have your house on the market right now, which of course is the right time anyway, because this is the high part of the market, then you may be in danger of losing this advantage. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, it's an absolute that they're not going to renew this. But when I have to explain to my senators and representatives what it is in the first place, and I realize this is an election year, we are in danger of losing something very, very valuable. So my point to you is this. If you don't think that you're going to be able to make the mortgage payment, and it's getting worse and worse, and, you know, the chances of you winning the lottery are, are pretty slim, then you need to start the short sale process right now. We need to get you closed by the end of, of this year. Because if you don't, you may be doing the short sale. You may say, hey, at least I'm not going to get sued by the mortgage company for the deficiency. But the IRS are people that can get the money. They will get the money. And you need to avoid that prospect. So you can get a hold of me at joe at joeprior.com or contact me and get more information through our website specifically devoted to short sale and foreclosure, avoidforeclosureoklahoma.com. But most importantly, act now. Be proactive. Get all your options on the table. We'll discuss it with you. This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.